man. I've been waiting for you. Oh, yeah. Nothing better than a brotted on steak and a cup of space fuel for breakfast. So I've been paid to get you up to speed about what them Justice League geeks have been up to. Sure, not Lobo's usual gig, I hear you say. And sure, I, I don't even get to bust some heads. But even an intergalactic bounty hunting stud of a biker like me gotta pay bills. My client be paying a serious tank load of creds. But if I'm right, them Justice Dweebs just got back to their stupid space tower. And you're all like, but, but Lobo, where have they been? Why have we been playing with bad guys? Where's our main man, Batman? <laughs> well, they've been doing time in Apocalypse, which sounds pretty sweet. You got lava fields, a population of pure maniacs, and the big old bad dark side running the whole show. Anyway, those Justice Leaguers got dumped slap bang in the middle of all this after being duped by them Earth 3 crime syndicate chumps. Bats, the fishy one, and the space cop with the green ring ended up in Granny Goodness's orphanage. Oh, you be thinking that sounds like a pretty nice place to hang out, sipping milk and cookies. Wrong! That old bag is one straight up hard as nails, Granny. So them Justice Boys, well, they wake and they see nothing but pretty wool patterns. And you say, Lobo? Maybe old Granny gone soft and whipped them up some ill-fitting sweaters. Wrong again, Sunshine. Wakey, wakey, Justice League! We wouldn't want you to sleep through all the fun now, would we? Get it off! Wait, was that? Whoa? Where are we? That reminds me of the place my grandmother used to live. Why, yes, my dear. Your new granny. Welcome to Granny Goodness's Happiness Home. Get comfortable, boys, because you're never leaving. <laughs> Happiness. I'm out. Let's get out of here before she tries to knit us matching jumpers. Ah, 
A garbage chute. This could be our ticket out of here. It might not smell great, but let us face it. This whole place stinks. Ah, oh, in the trash where you belong. What do you think? Isn't it beautiful? And deadly. <laughs> But not impressive enough. Your little escape ends here. Ow. Embrace the darkness. <laughs> really ticked off Grail. She only goes and totally loses it. I mean, she's a real chip off the old block. When I'll end the days with them eye beams of hers, only bats. He got the smarts. He's kept her looking at his big old black cape and not the big old lump of gee goodness lard on the floor. Whoop! <laughs> Boom! Ooh, right in the old granny's kitchen wall. <laughs> now that's my kind of remodeling. Granny G. She gonna be so dang mad that Grail will be scrubbing pots for an eternity. Anyhow, them boys take the opportunity to leave and let her try to explain the whole mess. <laughs> Ditching out on the washing up, too, my kind of guys. What can I say? All this yabbering makes me hungry. I like my flapjacks like I like my motorbikes. Extra greasy with plenty of grit. <laughs> ah. So yeah, enough about Batman. You probably already know for one of them geeks, he packs a mean punch and ain't above playing dirty. So let me clue you in on what Russ Bucket and Mr. I Run Fast were up to. These two, they didn't end up in no orphanage. <laughs> Nah, they got shipped down to the hottest bit of town. Yeah, the fire pit energy plant. Oh man, I love the sweet toxic smell of nuclear fire and molten rock. Them heroes are left wrapped in chains. An improvement on wool. And dangling down in the pits. Flash does that freaky vibration thing and slips out. Cyborg, he just pops them links like your main man, Lobo Wood. Ugh. Though neither of them geeks think to maybe keep the chains, upgrade their look. They're mighty handy when you want to mount a big old bounty on your hog. Uh, time to get up already? Hey, what gifts? Uh, Flash, you all right? Uh, I think so. Not sure what happened or how I got here. 
You? Same. Last thing I remember was that other Justice League turning on us. Ah, oh, you're right. Come on. Let's get out of here and deal with those double-crossing doubles. Soups, is that you? Man, you don't look so good. Thanks, Cyborg. I'm okay, just feeling a little weak. Your bedside manner could use a little work, though. Don't worry, Superman. We'll get you out of there somehow. Getting some there. Ah, you must be the Flash. I've heard so much about you. Wait, I recognize you. You're Mantis from Apocalypse. Is that where we are? Ooh, very clever, Superman. I've been tasked with making your stay as uncomfortable as possible. Now, why don't you all get back in your cells? I'm afraid you'll have to face the consequences. What sort of upgrade I would need to deal with this thing?
Deal with everything myself. Not so fast.
I've been better. That's not going to stop me from finding a way out of here. Still don't get it? No one leaves here. And boom, right in the ugly kisser. Them heroes knocked out the oversized cockroach. Which ain't no bad thing. <laughs> Manus' outfit makes Flash look like he's got style. I mean, green and yellow with that weird little hat. <laughs> what a mook. The boys snaggle blue and head out of there. Who, by the way, looked like he was in real need of some sunshine. <laughs> Seriously, solar powers. <laughs> Yet another image of our glorious overlords. I, for one, am very excited about this. Now, where are we up to? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Mr. Runalot and Tin Pants had saved Superman. Well, Bats have been busy playing his usual detective gig, trying to track down your main woman. Yeah, wonders herself. But the man in black behind the surrounds. Rookie mistake in this business. His little team had wandered right into my personal favorite hangout on Apocalypse. The female Fury Bears. Oh, I can give us to just thinking about it. These girls, they spend every weekend hour brawling, honing feral instincts into warrior spots. Yeah, I dig that place. Bats, true to his detecting skills, finds wonders. Only she's looking a little more yeah. than usual. Which is my book made her all the more rocking. Ah. Let's hurry and get Diana out of here. You don't need to tell me twice. What manner of place is this?
past justice. You want your precious Amazon back? You'll have to deal with the female furies. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! Let's see you try and get past us. <laughs> like that's gonna happen. to run into something like this. I can't use it. some sense back into wonders. So them heroes have done another real number on Granny G's team. Hey, who am I kidding? Lobo don't worry about anybody but himself. I back whoever be paying the bills. And it sure ain't the rock-faced bruiser dark side or his beastly babes.
He won't be getting the stomp on me this time around. Punishment, eh? Either that or you just can't keep away because of my animal magnetism. So back with the space chumps. They managed to get the band back together. They figured that's the most likely place to get any answers as to why they're here. So the super friends were gonna need some serious firepower to knock a hole in that thing. My kind of logic. Man, now that's what I'm talking about. Sure, it's surrounded by space dogs and needs juicing up, but that's where all the fun's at. As ever, the flying mouse got a plan. Beats me where he got his blackboard from. He wants those three to get that mega cannon juiced up without waking up that monocle fruitcake in his pets. My money's on the doggies. I'd love to see him use fish guy as a chew toy. <laughs> Heroes are around here somewhere. I know it! Okay, see that broken cannon over there? We gotta try and figure out a way to repair it without giving away our position. You got it, Lantern. Sheesh. This place sure could use a little cleaning up. Agreed. Ooh! How about a nice water feature? Was that about giving away our positions? Uh, yeah, my bad. wants to play fetch. I just hope it's not feeding time. That took care of that beast. Now we can... Wait, there's another one. Heads up. Oh, great. Here we go again. off our backs if we want to build the cannon. Yes. Perhaps a distraction is required. Let us see if we can create one. Wait. Are we really sure that dude's gonna fall for a fake replica of Granny Goodness? Granny Goodness? Is that you? Quickly, stop attacking! Everyone, stop attacking! Huh. Apparently so. That did it. Let's get back to work before anyone realizes what's happening. Give me, Granny! I did not know you were down there! May I ask what you are doing in such a place? Well, uh, never you mind what I'm doing. What are you doing? We are looking for the escaping heroes, eh? And you haven't found them yet? Why, that's simply not good enough. Yes, yes, you're entirely correct, of course, Granny. I will find them immediately. Yes. See that you do. Huh? 
I don't know what sort of upgrade I would need to deal with this thing. Okay, that is looking good. Let's use it to blast our way in. Not so fast. We can't fire until it's charged. That's gonna take at least a moment or two. Excuse me, Granny. Are you still down there? I believe we may have... Wait, that is not Granny! Uh-oh. Uh, sure it is. I just tripped over my favorite... It appears our time is shorter than we thought. Serious explaining to do to the real old granny when she finds out those goofs got past him and used that sweet cannon. That sure is a big gun. I wonder if I could borrow it. Won't be getting the stomp on me this time around. Maybe sometimes I think there's more to being the universe's main man than shooting stuff. So that's why I shred. I think it shows a different side. Yeah. 
Hey, uh, I ain't getting paid to teach how awesome I am. You know that already. So continuing with this flashback, uh, remember the plan? Those guys shoot the gun, get inside. Yeah, I knew you were listening. So that just leaves these guys to take care of business and see if they can't get a meeting with the guy that runs this boiler room. Get to work. something we can use. <sighs> nice place. Why would anyone want to live in a giant, creepy old castle like this? What? What's wrong with that? Seems we've got ourselves a welcoming committee. They really shouldn't have gone to such trouble. Another challenge? Perhaps our host was expecting us after all. Nothing we can't handle, right? Nice work, team. Wow. Was that an actual compliment from Batman? <laughs> this really is a weird thing. Have you heard the tale of a wondrous man? His mere presence can make you nervous. An assassin like no other can. It's me, Panto, at your service. Come after you. Oh. Just as I thought, a trap. Seems they prepared for all eventualities. I'm actually kind of impressed. Survive this! My skills are unmatched. 
as you will soon learn. You insolent little... A man of steel with a heart so light, silly hair and a chin ten foot wide. He thinks he doth cut such a dashing visage. But wears undergarments on the outside. There lived a man dressed like a bat, who fought crime to make his amends. Dour and grumpy and boring in chat. That's why he doesn't have any friends. I won't be defeated so easily. Come at you. Let's see you survive this. Can defeat me. One for two to strike. Nothing. A lady fair and a beauty too, yet fierce with such brutality. In her pads and colors, red, white, and blue, but she's more mere congeniality. A man so quick a phenomenon, he moves at an incredible rate. A glass, a flash, and he's down and gone, which is why he can't get a date. No regret crossing paths with me. Let's see you survive this. Get shot down with his own axe. That Kanto maybe should have thought about skipping the singing and just done a bit better at guarding the palace. So these clowns finally get to where you guys met back up with them. Bursting in on Dark Side mid rant and wanting answers. What's the deal, you great book? Mm. So that's me done. My field is in, and now I need a nap. I know. I ain't dishing out no spoilers for how it all turns out. They ain't paying me enough for that. Get out of here, you crazy kids. Ain't you got somewhere else to be?